welcome to the, the microbiology lab. Uh, we've uh, we set the lab up primarily to carry out a test called EN1276, which is the European suspension test for disinfectant products. But we can do a lot of other testing, a lot of other micro, uh, microbiological techniques as well. So uh, we can do ATP testing, for example. So uh, ATP testing uh, uh, tells us the levels of ATP on surfaces, uh, cleaned, uh, cleaned or not cleaned, uh, provides uh, an indication of the uh, degree of organic soiling. We can uh, look at uh, competitor products and compare them with our own products. So. Here we have a, a street plate of bacillus. Uh, bacillus are the kind of uh, bacteria, that, uh, beneficial bacteria that you will find in the uh, mighty's range of biological products. Uh, and a very important aspect of uh, bacillus and how they work is uh, the production of enzymes. Uh, enzymes being uh, proteins that uh, speed up biological reactions. And it's those enzymes that break down organic matter in the, in the immediate environment when the products are used uh, and give us that long-term cleaning effect and uh, odor reduction that you associate with biological products. Products. So uh, we can carry out testing to determine the, uh, the enzyme capabilities of bacteria. So here, for example, this is a uricase assay plate. So uh, the, a, uh, the agar contains a source of, uh, of uh, uric acid. Uh, and uric acid is quite important because it's a precursor to uh, uric acid scale in the washroom environment. Uh, and you'll see that the bacteria are cultured in a central spot in the middle of the plate. And you'll see that uh, in the cloudy uh, uric acid agar, there is a, a clearing zone where the bacteria have produced uricase enzyme and broken down that uric acid. That's, that's quite an important product, uh, uh, quite an important ability, if you like, for a, uh, a product that's used in the washroom environment. And similarly here, we've done a, an amylase uh, assay plate, uh, which indicates uh, so the, the production of amylase for the breakdown of starch. And I'm going to stain this one. I'm going to stain it with iodine. So if we can cast our mind back to... Uh, to uh, GCSE biology, you might remember that iodine uh, will stain starch black. And in a similar fashion, uh, the, uh, the agar, of course, contains a, a source of starch, which I have stained uh, black. I've stained it with iodine. And uh, you'll see that, again, around the bacterial colonies, then there is a clearing zone where the bacteria have secreted amylase uh, and uh, broken down that starch. And then conversely, of course, there are nasty bacteria around, uh, and those are bacteria that we don't want to be finding in our products, and we certainly don't want to be finding them uh, on the surfaces around us. And uh, on the uh, USB microscope and on the computer screen displayed there, uh, we have, for example, some colonies of E. coli. Most of us have heard of E. coli. Uh, and uh, some strains are quite harmless, uh, but uh, other strains are not so. Uh, and that's what those little guys look like when they're cultured onto agar plates. So those are just a, a few of the, uh, the uh, sorts of things that we've been, we can carry out in the lab. Mm -hmm.